Given the importance and sometimes the scarcity of third party titles, it's always intriguing to check in with a publisher after they've put out some big games on Switch. And today, we get some new info from Bethesda and Senior Vice President Pete Hines. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and Bethesda has been a big supporter of Switch, especially early. They brought out Skyrim, they brought out Doom, Wolfenstein 2 is coming soon, and by all accounts, these were great ports. Yes, they were older games, or in the case of Wolfenstein 2, a, a delayed game, but they still fared very well. So it was very interesting when DualShockers interviewed Pete Hines at PAX East, asking about Bethesda's future plans with Switch. And Gabe, we're just going to dive right into uh, some of these quotes here because they asked him if they would be, Bethesda would be interested in bringing more sort of uh, past catalog titles or new titles. Um, and he said, quote, it'll just depend. It'll depend on whether or not we think the game is a good fit for the platform technically and whether we think it's something that the audience wants on Switch. In that way, it's literally no different than any other platform that we look at or any other game that we do. Hopefully, it'll be a mix of both. If there's stuff that folks want us to release on Switch and it's a good fit and it works, great. If it's new stuff going forward that we think is a good fit and will work on Switch, then we'll do that too. Hmm. A little bit to unpack here. <laughs> Some of this is very, like, PR talk. And that's okay. That's to be expected. But, like, do you really think that, like, new Bethesda games? Uh, you know, let, let's just think the next Elder Scrolls. People obviously want that on Switch. Like, I, I guess what does he mean by does it fit? Yeah. The, well, like, and, and is he talking about... quote? You might want to go to his 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 line where he says, "Whether or not we think the game is a good fit for the platform, technically." Okay, so he is just meaning like pure spec wise, like, "Hey, can this run on Switch?" And then the audience wants. So I, I think it's a little bit of both. I just find it interesting that it, it could be PR spin. You know, he is the VP of marketing, but there is an openness and a positivity. Whereas a lot of other publishers in the past have sort of said like, "Oh, we're keeping our eyes," you know on the switch we're gonna wait and see he's very much saying like hey we kind of uh you know hope to do both and he follows it up um with asking about uh you know day and date releases and he says that's always our preference but in the case of skyrim and doom well that wasn't possible in the case of wolfenstein 2 we needed the extra time and there was no way we were going to hold the other platforms to wait for switch from my perspective anytime we can bring it out on the switch at the exact same time as the other platforms for new releases i don't know why we wouldn't and, and frankly i think this is one of the most positive and supportive statements i've seen um after you know sort of a, a slew of releases from a publisher it's pretty darn great that he is saying hey like there's no reason why we wouldn't do this. That's sort of our, our MO and our focus. We treat it just like every other platform, and we're willing to dip back into our catalog, and we're also willing to just put out you know future titles. Yeah, so overall, great sentiment from him. Uh, very encouraging. But since you did mention dipping back into the catalog here, Zach, you know, Bethesda, very well known for Fallout and Skyrim. They've made right. other games. Right, Prey is something that, they, that they've done, and you know, Wolfenstein is coming. Dishonored, another franchise, The Evil Within. Like they publish, so I was just wondering if any of those games you think might be a good fit for Switch. Hmm. Yeah, it's 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 interesting to think. Obviously, Fallout is the go-to, and that's the choice that I think most people want. But I do wonder if there's any opportunity for Arcane's games to get sort of a second wind. Um, I would assume if Wolfenstein Two is doable, they're totally doable, right? And so getting like Prey and Dishonored on uh, the latter Prey, not the not the original Prey, but the recent Prey and, and the recent Dishonored games on, on Switch, maybe that's sort of a chance for revival. To me, at the end of the day, new is always more exciting, so the potential for whatever Bethesda announce at, at their E3 conference coming to Switch as well, like it, it seems, like you said, a little bit maybe implausible, but he sure is making it sound like that is their goal. Yeah, the door doesn't seem to be close to it whatsoever. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of The Evil Within, so having the original come to Switch, and maybe even the sequel uh, come to Switch, I think that would be really good. Those are awesome games. Absolutely. Yeah, there's one more quote of interest. They asked if Bethesda would ever consider doing something like Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, um, uh, an exclusive a la Ubisoft, and he said, I don't know, we'll have to see. All of that stuff always comes down to the devs' ideas and what we think is a good fit idea-wise and platform-wise. So not really uh, much to go off of there, but an exclusive would, in my opinion, be a really amazing move and kind of a logical step, uh, especially given his note of, like, what is a good fit for the platform technically? What does the audience want? You know, maybe they feel like they can better tailor an original product as opposed to just going with what, what every other console is getting. 
Yeah, I mean, the only issue with that is Bethesda makes games for other platforms. So you would probably need, like, a dedicated team and, you know, th th there's a certain big game in development over there that's been in development for quite some time and in the shape of the next Elder Scrolls. Mm. And I don't know how much development time or, or resources you want to take away from that to make a Switch exclusive. Yeah, and... You know, they're they're a big publisher at this point. They they work with many studios, and, look, Ubisoft is able to pump out Assassin's Creed Origins and, you know, by all accounts, you know, a new one this year and Far Cry 5, and they're still updating Rainbow, and they, they found time to fit in Mario plus Rabbit. So I think it's possible, um, maybe not I was talking about Bethesda themselves. Oh. Like, they're, not, they're not developing it. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, no, I think... You know, Elder Scrolls, Starfield, whatever they've got going on, that's going to be their focus. And yeah, I mean, is there any, just using those direct examples, is there any chance you think that Elder Scrolls or Starfield gets announced at E3 and it's like, yep, PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch? No, unfortunately, I don't think so. Those things have been in development for so long. And yeah. the fact is that they might not even come to this generation of consoles. So, yeah. Yeah, especially that's... in the shape of Starfield. So. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Let us know your take in the comments down below. How do you feel about Pete's comments, and what do you think this means for the future of Bethesda on Switch? And, hey, if there's any games that you specifically think would be great fits uh, from that past catalog, let us know which they are and why in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch and updates from publishers like this one. Follow us on Twitter and Discord. Link in the description is below. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force, out.